Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris from Freestock Facts and Colossal Fossils. Today this is an extra episode and we're going to be reviewing a movie uh, this time. Uh, I know I did say that I should probably get started on Dinosaur Phylogeny uh, uh, in this kind of episode, but I actually decided to wait a little bit on that one, so probably by uh, April I'll probably actually start doing that. So anyway, uh, the movie that we're going to be reviewing is a movie that came out in 2018 and it is and it was a big blockbuster when it came out and it is the meg and so so a lot of you probably have seen the movie the meg and so i watched this movie last night and uh, i have seen this before so i've actually have watched this last night to kind of get a little bit of a refresher on it and so i'm going to give my takes on it so and uh and then there will be no spoilers for this, so at least there's going to be a good chance that some of you have not seen this movie, uh, so that way uh, you don't get spoiled uh, that much in this movie and uh, about this movie. And so, yeah, and so I actually get right to it. And so, the Meg actually came out in 2018, in I believe in August, if I remember correctly, August of 2018. And uh, and of course, the Meg is actually based on the Steve Alton book. Uh, the Steve Alton book series, The Meg, and and it's a very popular um, book series, and so it was actually so it was going to be at some point going to be adapted into a movie, and so there has been a lot of rumors of of this of this book series becoming a movie franchise, and so there was actually uh, kind of a lot of rumors that were actually speculating for probably going on like five years before. Um, uh, this movie actually even came out, uh, but there was like talk of like maybe just a television uh, movie premiere, you know, like maybe on the Sci-Fi Channel, or otherwise maybe actually work out a deal with like a movie studio that could actually uh, ha that would have the money necessary to actually make a movie kind of like this. And so uh, Warner Brothers actually the Warner Brothers decided to take on the movie, and so yeah, and uh, the movie stars Jason State. Jason Statham, the ultimate tough guy actor that we all know from like uh, the Fast and Furious franchise, the Cranked franchise, and I believe also the uh, Death Race uh, franchise too. And so, yeah, those uh, those movies considered are considered like his type of movies. And so we get this like tough guy actor that is the lead role, and he actually gives out a pretty decent performance in this. It's decent, not great, not not like good or great by any means. If you're actually thinking about, if you're actually thinking that this is going to be an Oscar winning film, you're not, this is not the movie for you. This is actually just a movie, just to have fun, have a bowl of popcorn in front of you and just uh, have fun watching the movie, you know? And this is what this movie really is. It's basically just a, uh, what uh, some uh, uh, YouTube movie review uh, channels have actually uh, said is that this is like a fast food movie, you know, where you actually, it, it's not good for your brain, but you just want to have fun and you just want to have a little bit of comfort, you know, that sort of thing, like a comforting type of feeling of like enjoying a ride and that sort of thing, you know, that, that sort of thing, you know, but that's what this movie really is, you know, it's not, it's not going to wow you by any stretch. You see, the beginning of the movie is kind of a bit slow. And so you're actually kind of like, okay, when's the action going to happen, you know? Because at first, you don't see uh, the Megalodon uh, probably when you get closer towards the middle of the film. And so that's where you actually uh, kind of get to see the the really fun and exciting type of part of the movie, which is the, like, the terrorizing uh, type of uh, scenes, you know, where the Meg terrorizes, you know, like, the crew and and uh, other people and that sort of thing, you know, that's, that's what this <laughs> kind of movie is. It's like, it, like the best parts are basically when the shark attacks, you know? So the pros for this movie is that it's actually that like the, from the middle to the end of the movie, it's like very fast paced pacing is very fast. Uh, and, and that, and you can actually kind of get the idea that like the excitement of the movie is basically when the Omega is actually attacking, you know, that sort of thing. Kind of like when you actually see like when you get to the towards the end of the movie in Jaws, that's where you actually uh, enjoy the movie a little bit more. But the thing is, Jaws is actually a much more well acted and more um, well thought out type of movie, whereas this this movie uh, it's thought out, but the acting is not 
great uh, in this movie. And so, but yeah, the pro, but the other pro in this movie is uh, some bits of the CGI were actually not too bad, not too bad, not too bad special effects, um, these not too bad uh, so, um, sound effects either. So you're actually are kind of getting that kind of kind of experience where you're just getting that type of like visual and even uh, uh, audio. Uh, experience where you're just like go like oh this is really really nice that sort of thing and uh, and and I think pro and I think the the little kid in this movie is very funny she is very funny uh, uh, hopefully that she does get some uh, other roles in the future because I think she does deserve like a comedic role at some point now I am gonna go over some cons on this and I know there's some that may disagree with me on this but you know what that's that's what I'm here I'm here to still give you both the pros and cons because I know people do love this movie and they actually would say that like oh it's one of the greatest shark movies of all time you know that sort of thing but thing is the cons in this movie is that it's not a very well acted movie and so when you actually look at this movie it's not very well acted you're kind of actually looking at this as like Okay, these are just uh, like people just reading their lines and just kind of getting the dialogue out as good as good as they can, you know that sort of thing. And Jason Statham is not that type of actor where you're actually gonna say like, oh, he's gonna win an Oscar at some point. He's he's not quite at that level yet, you know. He's actually just more of like kind of the, still that mold of the blockbuster type of actor where you just put him in a big action blockbuster and he's gonna do a uh, good with his action scenes. He's gonna have some good uh, quotes and all that sorts of stuff. That's what he is, you know. That sort of thing. That that's what he is. And uh, the pacing is also a, is also a con in this movie too, because when you actually uh, have a a pace where it starts off slow, but then it actually gets really fast uh, from the middle to the end, it's where like, do you even have time to process this movie? You know, because that's where the con does come in is that like it starts off slow you kind of getting the idea of what this movie is going to be but then it goes to the very fast pace uh, type of uh, pacing and editing and that kind of actually is a con in this movie is that it's not particularly well paced so you're actually kind of actually having a short attention span in this kind of movie so you're kind of actually like a, like I'll go oh this is good and they're like oh this is good you know that sort of thing that that's one thing it that is kind of a con in this movie and also another con in this movie the Meg is not accurate you know because the Meg is because the, the Megalodons in this movie you get two of them and so one smaller one's bigger so that's what I'm only gonna say about those megs and the, the one bit of the see it's oversized you know they're saying 20 to 25 meters that is not accurate and an actual megalodon would probably be 16 or 17 meters in length and so that's pretty much what you're actually gonna see is that the, the meg is way oversized the megs are way oversized and also the gill slits are inaccurate they gave eight he gave eight gill slits for Megalodon, which that does not make any sense whatsoever. Megalodon should actually have the same gill, amount of gill slits as, like, say, Great White Tiger or even a Bull Shark, for that matter. Even the Mako, you know, because that's what you're hoping for, you know, is to be an accurate depiction of a shark. But there is some uh, good things about about the movie like it does talk about shark conservation uh, a bit like there's a scene in the movie where you actually kind of gives you awareness of like shark poaching and also get like about water pollution like environmental pollution uh, by humans that sort of thing you know that, that's also a good pro for this movie it does actually want to give you that idea of like oh there's some conservation stuff here you know that's, that's which is nice you know which is really really nice the con in this movie is uh, another con in this movie uh, is that uh, some of the scenes can be cheesy like it's this movie is gonna have some cheesy moments you're you're not gonna go like like uh, oh like I like uh, oh this is really well thought out well this is actually more of like like they just put some things in there just to like make it like it's for like cheap laughs or gags or just to make it seem like it could be realistic but it's not you know that sort of thing but 
like, but even though this is a movie, this is not going to be a documentary, this is not a documentary by any means, this is just a fun action movie that you're just going to enjoy and just have a bowl of popcorn right in front of you and just enjoy what you got, you know, and so, yeah, like, uh, there's a little bit more cons in this movie than pros, but you actually do actually appreciate a little bit more of the pros a bit, uh, by a stretch of where you actually are getting something that we're you're just gonna have fun with and so I've seen this movie multiple times I would say that like it's a fun film to watch I would say that I would say it probably ranks like in the probably ranks like say maybe at number five on my uh, shark movie list and because uh, like because um, the best shark movie of all time in my opinion is Jaws the first Jaws movie it's it's the best uh, shark movie of all time and there's no question about it. Whereas the Meg will actually go down as probably as like a, a movie that would say would say would not be as memorable down in the future. But then you actually kind of like watch it and go like, okay, this is this is a fun movie, just a fun movie. You know, that's all it is. You know, um, I do hope they make a sequel. Hopefully that they do actually um, uh, try to focus more on the story a bit and also better character development in this in that movie because there has been rumors that there will be a sequel that could that could happen um but we don't know we don't know yet because uh because uh who knows what uh the what warner brothers really wants uh to do with the meg series or if they really want to franchise on the meg series i mean they could look at universal and just say like well do we really want to go in the direction of jaws where like the first movie is going to be considered the greatest mo is the best, whereas the rest of the sequels are just bad, you know that sort of thing, you know. But if they just took some things uh, seriously with some bits of the action, some action scenes, and also uh, some of the dialogue, and even the even the CGI would actually be a little bit better, in my opinion. And also make the sharks a little bit more accurate as well. So, but yeah. That's my two cents of, of basically my rating. Out of five, I give this a three out of five. And so I would say it's a fun movie to watch. Go ahead and if you want to, uh, like, uh, like, like, say, stream this film wherever you're going to find it on streaming services and, uh, and enjoy yourself. Um, if it's a movie that you don't really care about, that is totally fine. You, you know, whatever, whatever actually uh, is the best thing for, for you in terms of a in terms of a movie and so but uh let me guys know what you think of the mag uh do you like it do you think it's like a movie that is okay or do you think it's really bad and you think that like there should never be a franchise of this movie uh, a movie franchise for this you know i mean let me know uh put those in the comments down below and feel free to give me your ranking on like where does the mag fall on your favorite shark movie lists you know because that's what i want to that's where i want want you guys to put out like your your favorite shark movies like give me your top five give me your top five shark movies and that way i can actually see what your top fives are but anyway that's it for now next week will actually be a special episode and i'll let you guys know what kind of prehistoric animal i'm going to talk about so stay tuned for that and uh and if and if you still got questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life feel free to email me at dino chris 71 at gmail.com or just go to my facebook page prehistoric facts with dino chris like the page you actually post your questions in the comment section please don't put them on messenger that's only for private conversations but please put your questions in the comment section and for you youtubers out there feel free to like the videos subscribe to the channel and stomp on that bell so that way you can actually get weekly notifications of every video that comes out weekly and also feel free to put your questions in the comments section i do read them all and i do read your comments those are actually very very important and uh, according to my analytics a lot of you that actually check out my videos aren't subscribed so feel free to please subscribe to the channel and also like the videos because that actually helps out my analytics and also helps me helps me continue to keep doing these videos so feel free to do that and also share these videos to any any other type of social media platform you know facebook twitter you know that sort of thing, you know, because that way can get more people to actually enjoy the channel and check out a, check out the channel too, and 
feel free to do that. And also make sure to keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at C-S-G-R-A-L-L. It's my Twitter page. I'll post pretty cool stuff on there. And also follow me on Instagram at dino.chris.pf so that way you can check out some cool stuff on Instagram as well. And also make sure to take care of the people around you. you know, so for you younger people out there, make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have a good education. It's very important to have a good education. So with a good education, you get a good job in the future. And in this kind of time, please wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, because we need, need to make sure that we need to reduce the spread of the virus. And if you got relatives that have got vaccinated, that is great. That is the best thing that can happen. And uh, and it will be at some point in time where we will get the, the rest of the country just get vaccinated. And so hopefully that everybody stays safe in this kind of pandemic. And also feel free to check out Colossal Fossils uh, in the... Uh, ColossalFossils.com, and the link will be in the de in the description down below, so that way you guys can check that out. And yeah, and that's it for now. And I'll see you guys next week.